Well, today, 10 News officially kicked off this year's Home for Good project in partnership with Habitat for Humanity in the Roanoke Valley and also, of course, generous community sponsors. 10 News anchor Brittany McGraw introdu introduces us to the family who will turn this house into a home. This is the site along Mormon Avenue in Roanoke that Courtney Warren, her three children, and her nephew will soon call home. And while today's ceremony to raise the first wall for her house looked a little different, with a smaller crowd and people in masks, it still had the same excitement as our other Home for Good wall raising celebrations. It feels really good in light of all the kind of the bad news that we've all been surrounded with lately. It feels really great to come together and celebrate something that's uh, give us a little dose of joy. Courtney and her family will work to build this two-story home and realize the dream of owning a home. I need to be able to leave something for my children. I want to go back to school to better myself so I can be a great role model for them. So thank you. It will be a community effort as Courtney, volunteers from across the area, our generous sponsors and Habitat staff put in hundreds of hours to finish this home by the fall. And this is why we're an all-American city because of the people, your commitment, and the things that we do in this city to help others. We're a compassionate city. And in about four months, the Warren family will have a home for good. In Roanoke, Brittany McGraw, 10 News, working for you. And congratulations to mm -hmm. them. The COVID-19 pandemic started the de uh, delayed the start of construction on the home. The wall raising was originally scheduled for back in early April.